Okay, this is uh, an appeal to all of the military throughout the Western world by Field McConnell, ex-Marine, and ex-RAF engineer Gordon Bowden. Take it away, guys. Well, we're trying, we're trying to make the people of this country aware of money laundering, incorporating many senior politicians, and I include right honourable ex-Prime Minister Tony Blair, that's linked to certain addresses in Finchley Road, and they include, but not restricted to, 788, 790 Finchley Road, along with other senior politicians like Lord Peter Benjamin Mandelson, that when people look at these addresses and understand that there's over a quarter of a million shell companies operating out of those addresses that are protected by our security services and many other organisations, and I would say even the police are trying to protect these addresses from being uh, uh, targeted for organised crime. The evidence is there, it's forensic evidence, and people like Field McConnell who have come to this country to understand what happens in organised, industrial organised crime that are asset stripping billions from our economy, not just in this country, but in America. And it's such a pleasure to meet this man as an ex-serviceman. And this is not just an appeal to ex-military or serving military. This is about truth and justice and stopping things which should be made better to stop uh, food banks, uh, police services that have all been uh, cut with their budgets. But unless the public are made aware of these organised crime syndicates that are being protected by senior politicians, not just in this country, but in, in the country of the Grand US of A. And it's been a pleasure to us again. Well, thank you. Now, I'm sure you'd like to say more or less uh, what your involvement is. So the reason I came over here is I wanted to find out if the corporate frauds were as immense here in the United Kingdom as they are in the United States. And in the United States, uh, most of our citizens don't know that our whole country is a corporation. It's a corporation that was inspired in England but is managed through British Columbia, Canada, I believe. And if anybody wants to correct me, it's F-I-E-L-D-M-C-C -C at Yahoo.com or International Code 001-715-307. 8222, and one of the great frauds in the United States of America is a guy who went to my high school. Uh, I graduated from Punahou School, that's spelled P-U-N-A-H-O-U, -U, in Honolulu, Hawaii, and when I was registered at Punahou School, I was registered as Field McConnell, Protestant, American. There's a gentleman, uh, I was in the class 67, there's a man from the class of 79 who is registered as Barry Swatero, Indonesian Muslim. Today, I'm Field McConnell in Wisconsin, and he's Barack Obama in Washington, D.C., and your frauds of the U.K. are being crammed down America's throats. And speaking for America's military, and maybe yours, maybe not, uh, our military uh, do not go to Afghanistan thinking they're serving David Cameron or the Royals, Kew Gardens, or the corporates uh, that are at 788 to 790 Finchley Road, where I spent the last two days across the street watching the comings and going at 788 to 790 Finchley Road. I've got uh, 16 hours of tape taken by myself and some others, and we're really not happy about what you've exported to our country. And the United States of America is supposed to be the beacon to the world, but you and the United Kingdom and the Vatican are preventing that, so knock it off. Can I, can I just have a few? Thank you. I just say, with regard to political uh, corruption in the United States, if you check out this gentleman, his name is Frank Giustro. He is a man that controls corporates that, under the guise of Macquarie Capital Markets Canada Limited, which gave uh, President Bill Clinton 31 million US dollars, which was uh, acquired from running hundreds of fake oil, gas and mining companies on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So when you're talking about funding politicians, this is where it goes, and it goes deeper. Ask David Cameron. Ask David Cameron. Can I Cameron. respond to that? Yeah, of course. Okay, now, uh, I don't, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, Okay. but Frank Wiestra, he's a Canadian. Yes, and he's a buddy Frank Giestra. Yeah, you can pronounce it. I like to irritate these big people because oh, they're not you. that big. <laughs> you. So this Frank Wiestra, yeah. uh, he went to Kazakhstan with Bill Clinton on, a, right. on an MD-88, yeah. and they went over there to strip 
abuse, rape Kazakhstan of their uranium. Exactly. Yes. Well, guess where I was from 2008 to 2009. I haven't got a I haven't got a Geiger counter to check where you've been. <laughs> I, I and was, if you've been there, I'll stand back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heavy metals. I was in Kazakhstan for 18 months, uh, from February of 2008 to August of 2009, and it looked a whole lot to most people, and maybe it was even true that I was an airline pilot. But my true history is I was an airline pilot for 29 years in America, and when I blew the whistle on 9-11, because it could not be Muslims, not because of their ethnicity or their religion, it could not be the young Muslims because of their experience level. And so I raised the BS flag over this, and my reward for telling the United States of America what happened on 9-11 I was told to shut up or quit flying, so I quit flying, and I'm not Welcome shutting up. Welcome to the party. Yes, yes. The truth is the truth, and 9-11 had nothing to do with Muslims. It had everything to do with corporations. A corporation in this country is Circle. A corporation in my country is the United States Senior Executive Service, and they're running out of time. Okay. Good. There you go. Good. And they need to Praise run out of time. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We've we got to restore the rule of law in the UK and America. Get in the middle, they Patrick. All, they are all uh, common law jurisdictions, the same as Ireland. And they've hijacked the law of the land, and they're stripping them in the court. They're framing up the likes of uh, John Patterson, who is reporting serious crime. Right, he, he's working with uh, Gordon Bowden, and this is what they've done to this man. Unfortunately, John, they can't make 78, 78, even in the TARDIS. Not even. Well, we can have a go. Well, we, <laughs> are we finished, guys? The likes of who's involved in all this. I think so, yeah. The likes of see, as you know, for a slight uh, fracas over a cheese sandwich or something. However, nobody's looking at Lord Hall's uh, 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 sort of business history. When you look at Lord Hall, he's um, a liveryman of a, uh, uh, an address in London which is linked to directors who are running a massive Ponzi scam fake mining company in Anglesey, which if you look on the internet at YouTube, you will see the presentation I gave in Anglesey. They've been running this mining company with no mining for 31 years, doing massive cash calls uh, and just asset stripping and moving the money offshore. Millions, hundreds of millions, and we're all fools. We're all fools. Can I express an opinion from the U.S. and you can correct me if I'm wrong? I'll try. It looks to me as a common American that the glue that holds the cabal together is pedophilia. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. And that is the Talmudic Jewish law. Yeah. yeah. Right? And it's okay to have sex with a newborn baby. Yeah. Have a look at the Talmudic. Well, they've got to be three months old, Patrick. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it is sick. Yeah, yeah. It is sick. Yeah. And this is actually what's ruling this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we are allowing it. Yeah. We are allowing it. Three months. And our police officers are being sent to Israel to be trained by the Israeli army. It was actually in the document that I was going to put before this kangaroo court today, but I wasn't going to leave my, my client be subjected to a can kangaroo court because I was going to go for a jury trial because he is guaranteed that rights. That's what the law says. Yeah. That's what the law says. Truth yeah, and justice. Yes. Truth, Truth and justice. justice. That's all we ask for. Yeah. Due process is by trial by jury, not trial by judge. And we see, we see the police there again today. Well, all the all the, the the camera footage will show how the people were actually assaulted and rough handled. There was none of us that was out of order. None of us. We stayed professional. These are the guys that should be staying professional. But they're not. But anyway, thanks, Phil McConnell. Thank you. Thank you very much, You're my friend. You're very welcome. Thank you. Are we still well, rolling? Can I thank give you, you the punchline? I'm sure. Yeah. Come round, Beth. <laughs> thank you. Wales forever. Yeah. Right. Wales forever. I'm going to give him a punchline. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, bye-bye. Get you right out of the way, mate. Thank you. Just so we're all understanding who created Obama out of Barry Swatero, it was my own sister, Christine Marcy. She provided him his passport in 1994. My sister is one of the bigger parts of the serial treasons uh, intending to destroy the United States of America. And if we go, you guys go 30 seconds later, so let's not do it. Yeah. Let's not do well it. said.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, power. Thank you all for taking your time to come here today.